little excited. I mean, I can't wait uh, to see what's going to happen to, tonight. Uh, everybody tell me it's going to be special, so I can't wait. You all cry? Please welcome to the field an 11-time All-Star, four-time batting champion, two-time MVP and a Triple Crown winner, as well as the newest member of Major League Baseball's 500 Home Run Club, Miguel Cabrera! Mr. I asked, could we try to get that up-and-coming young star from the Marlins? He actually asked that. He knew who Miguel was. On December 4th, 2007, the Marlins assistant GM called me with a list of names that they wanted for Miggy. As I wrote those names down, I knew, we all knew, we were gonna get Miguel Cabrera in the trade. I mean, it's something you don't see every day, so you never prepare for this. He continues to play the game with the excitement of a little leaguer <laughs> with Hall of Fame results. Miggy, congratulations on being one of the greatest players to ever play the game. You know, the old timers, the Hall of Fame, all the guys like going through this, they tell you right away they, they're going to miss the game. You know what I mean? When somebody retires or somebody or somebody do something good in the, in the field, I mean, it's kind of sad, it make you feel good, but at the same time, it's like, oh, it's, it's almost over, you know what I mean? So you miss the game because you love the game like so much. We all know he's probably gonna go down as one of the greatest right-handed hitters of all time. So it's just amazing to see how much fun he has in the production that he continues to bring to the game each and every day. It's great watching Miggy finally get what he deserves. You know, he's been one of the best players of all time and, you know, growing up watching him, it's been really cool just to see him grow as a player and as a leader. And now he's finally starting to get those numbers, which, you know, put him with the all-time greats. When Miguel Cabrera launched the 500th home run of his career in Toronto and then rounded the bases before joining his teammates in that spontaneous celebration that ensued, he did so while wearing the batting helmet he is now presenting to the president of the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Thank this you. helmet will now be proudly displayed in Cooperstown commemorating Miguel's historic achievement. Willie Horton Willie. is formally presenting to Miguel Cabrera the bat, the ball, and the batting gloves that Miguel wore during that now famous swing for Rob's 500. I love you, boy. I love you, Rob. Damn, thank you. Thank Next, you. Tigers chairman and CEO Chris Virilich, along with Tigers manager A.J. Hinch, will present a crystal engraved art sculpture featuring the digits 500 and commemorating the date and location of Miguel's historic home run. And finally, Christopher Illich and Al Avila will present Miguel Cabrera with a framed painting by artist Todd Dawes. Awesome. You know, I think it's great, not only for the Tigers, uh, it's great for the city of Detroit. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, have more moments like this, and hopefully we can win more games and be a team to be in the playoffs. You know? you may, Take this for granted, and every time you're there, every time you get a chance to go out there, you gotta enjoy and do your best. We look forward to the next historic milestone on the horizon. Two for three for Miguel tonight, 2982, and that's the counter on the Miggy milestones. We're gonna look back at this and like, and really be thankful that we were a part of it. And so, if you can capture those moments and 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 soak it in for a little bit. Uh, I think it's going to mean even more as, as time goes on. Everybody on their feet here at Comerica Park. They'd love to see Miggy unload these bases. <laughs> I mean, I'm feeling good. Uh, feeling excited. Try to finish strong the season. The 3-2. Between the ground ball. Base hit into center field. Two more RBIs for Miguel. Four RBI night for Cabrera. You know what? I like when runs score. You know, I, I like runs. And and obviously being there at, in the batter's box when you have an opportunity to score runs is is huge. And Miggy's, uh, it's almost unfathomable when you really look at the big numbers that he's, he's accumulating.
that. This one is ripped into the left field corner by Miguel Cabrera. He's going to dig for two on his way, and he's got it. Hit number 2,986. Another two-hit day for Miggy. The chase for 3,000, we're not there yet, but when we get there, we're gonna, it's going to matter to us. Yeah, hopefully I can do it soon. Um, hopefully I can do it with a thing like we can think about playoff, you know. You know, AJ is really, really good at his speech. He can convince you that what he's selling is something you need to buy. Yeah, if he's selling it, I'm buying it. When I when I got here, I didn't know how fast we'd be able to do it, how fast we'd be able to get to the fans to believe, how fast we'd be able to do uh, the things on the field that represented winning baseball. It's been a year of progress. Uh, it's been a year of real good progress uh, for the entire organization, not only on the field, but you know, it's been great to see a lot of our young players come up through the system, make it to the major league club, and and flourish. We got, we got a good team here. I mean, uh, uh, these guys they, they work hard. We come to the ballpark, you know, every day to make sure that we're continuing to um, get better every day, and um, that seems to to work out. And uh, you know, we're definitely getting results. From it. I think this this team represented what the city's about. Um, hard work and grit, uh, grind, the, the, the love for doing things the right way. Um, we found our niche and we found our place and we're doing it in a city that appreciates it. I've, I've been told that you know, Tiger fans are the best in baseball uh, when you're winning so you know, hopefully that, that is you know next year and we play in front of the, the loud fans and it's, it's a ton of fun. The passion of fan base is number one. I mean, you can tell as soon as we started doing any, anything positive, um, the fans started to come out. I watch them come out for the Miggy Chase, you know, for 500, for 3,000. The, the, the passion that this team has for the English D and that this fan base has for the English D is pretty remarkable. For a fan, it's just it's hope. You know, it's been a long time since we've had a team that's been you know close to making the playoffs or even like attempting to look like they want to. And with AJ, they really they really shown a lot of uh, growth, and it just it brings excitement back to the park. I couldn't be more pleased with uh, you know the work that AJ has done. I think he's been a just a tremendous addition to our organization. It's made a real impact. So I've told, our, I've told our team this, that where we're at right now is, is, should be our floor. We should build off of this for success. We, we have not arrived yet. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge of getting guys to understand the getting back on the map, wherever we finish in the standings, whatever our record ends up, ends up being, we need to be better to get to the next level. Um, and that challenge in, in my chair, in my coaching staff, um, a, 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 along the players, it needs to resonate from, from the, the first day of this off season all the way until the first day of, of spring training. But the bottom line, when we show up next season, our number one goal is to make the playoffs. We need to play well for six straight months of this.